So believe it or not, that's a soft wing beetle. Not all fireflies flash light. Department of Etymology Outreach Specialist Phil Pelletieri is not your run-of-the-mill scientist. The bug guy or the bug geek or the bug doctor, all those things I've been called. <laughs> Consider I used to drive a garbage truck, this is a step up. For more than 30 years, Pelletieri has spent his days at the UW-Madison Insect Diagnostic Lab, surrounded by bugs. In caps, boxes, cans, you name it. And they come to him in the strangest ways. U.S. mail, emails, descriptions over the phone, and sometimes people even walk off the streets to find out from the bug doctor what kind of creepy crawly they've found. You never know what's going to happen. I, you know, it's kind of you come in and it depends on who's coming in the door. And so last year, 60% of what I processed were digital images that people took in the field, in their backyards, crawling on their kids, whatever. His knowledge from aphids to zooptera and his always sharp wit makes Pilateri <laughs> one of Wisconsin's most recognized experts. Um, and and you know, honestly, if you're not used to looking at them, I mean, if you look at them close and they stop, you see one pair of wings, it's a fly. If it's got more than one pair of wings, it's a bee. Certainly one of my most popular uh, guests uh, that I have, he's on them usually about once a month. On the program, I could probably have them on once a week. <laughs> and there are definitely examples of some insects. Through public lectures like this one and media appearances, Pelletieri jokingly says he has long surpassed his 15 minutes of fame. You know, I think I'm in everybody's Rolodex, you know, and so I can pretty well be assured in a given year to do somewhere between 80 and 110, you know, newspaper, radio, TV pieces. He's a great friend, not only to me, but to our listeners, and I think a lot of our listeners almost view him as a friend because he's so personable and so willing to help. Pelletieri's educational mission is focused on helping humans and those multi-legged, eyed, and winged creatures coexist in peace. He has been such a staunch supporter uh, of education. He is, is a resource that he knows so much. It may seem funny, but to be honest, in my profession, I'm a generalist. I mean, one of the things that many of my colleagues specialize in given areas, in, with running the lab, I've been kind of forced to be a little bit of everything, which I enjoy because things change over time. So that adds some spice. There's no way they'll breed indoors. Okay. Um, and uh, nothing to worry about. Okay, good. Well, that's probably the one thing I guess that's the most rewarding. Um, you know, overall, I have a lot of satisfaction out of out of just working with people, and as I said, hopefully, in some cases, easing their mind. But <laughs>